had a few requests on how to actually download your videos for iMovie uh, on the Mac using your Evario R. Now the, the light's not great here, I really need to take the shutter off that's outside, There's two, I've got two shutters on my windows. But what the first thing you want to do is a safety catch at the bottom here, you pull that down and then slide this across because obviously this is waterproof so it's, it's sort of double sealed and then just flick that up and you'll see a few connectors in there, or should do. It's very hard to see in this light. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, I can't see them at all. Fantastic. Um, but this, this little USB cable, tiny one, it comes in the bag. You've got a large one and a little one. The little one goes in the back of here. Yeah, I'm gonna go in one. Don't put it in the wrong one. <laughs> because <laughs> the other one's a large one but put in the, the small USB connector then you connect this straight into the back of your um, Mac now depending on what version you've got there's different bits of software but one of the things you will find is it will suddenly all go kaboom what do you want to download and you can import the lot straight into iMovie um, one of the things I want to say there is a way of doing it with Wi-Fi I'll cover later I will also say that uh, there's ways of controlling the camera as a uh, webcam. I'll cover that later as well. Um, but the main one for today is this one because a few people have asked me about it. And there is ways to transfer these files using Wi-Fi or automatically as well. I'll cover that later as well. But the main one, just plug that in. You'll see three things pop up. There are the Well, sorry, four. You'll get the screen where you can import. And if you look on your desktop, there's three different ones. Uh, there's one for the software, one and the other ones are folders and things. But um, this video is a simplistic version of just plug it in, get it going, get your stuff off. And the more complicated stuff, I'll do in other videos. Thanks for watching. Now, as soon as you put that into the, the back of your Mac, what you'll find, it will ask you whether connect to the PC or connect to other. So click connect to PC, then you can click on backup or the other option. But if you click backup or the other one, it doesn't really matter. What will happen is you'll end up with it automatically opening up on your Mac and you can simply click, click import all and it will import all your JVC straight into your iMovie. And that's that's how you import it. Um, as you can see, it's doing it doing it one by one. You should see one of these, but there you go. Um, and obviously, once it's imported, you can make a decision whether you want to empty your camera or delete some of the footage. Completely up to you. Uh, but now, as you can see, these are now in here. You can drop them into your iMovie. Do your edit in, and that's it, ready to go. Thanks for watching. I'll do another video on Wi-Fi later.